sheet metal is in production. Bumpers begin their lives as sheet steel, then move through a series of forming and trimming operations. Before chrome plating, a careful buffing. It improves durability and is the beginning of a gleaming, satin smooth finish. inner hoods, fenders. They also are born from steel, formed by giant presses and dies into the smooth, simple lines called for by stylists and translated by engineers into steel panels. The secret of a good paint job is priming, so you use the latest method, Elpo, it deposits paint through electrolytic action, very much like a plating process. Gets down into every crack and crevice for a uniform coat. When it comes out of the tank, the paint doesn't run, so there's a uniform thickness. No need to sand thick spots, take the risk of exposing the metal to corrosion. Temperatures, solution strength, electrolytic process, all monitored with an automatic cutoff if anything varies beyond the normal. If a problem arises, you find out now. The printout screen tells you what the problem is, and it's corrected right away, before final painting. Automatic finish painting. It's uniform, consistent. Matches colors between front end sheet metal and the body of the car. If an imperfection is found, the part is pulled immediately, and another hood or fender of the right color is put on the conveyor to join the designated body on the assembly line. A vapor reflow technique permits minor implant paint damage to be repaired as good as new. The paint actually reflows and mixes, becomes a part of the original finish, and it stays that way. The body plant, Valley of the Giants, as it is sometimes called, where huge stamping machines and presses transform sheet steel into floor pans, sides, tops, where the body of the car is put together. It is here, too, in the body plant that interiors, the part of the car that people live in, come into being. When the body arrives at the assembly plant, it immediately undergoes a retest of all electrical items. Should a discrepancy turn up, it is repaired right now, not passed along to some future station on the assembly line. This is known as a build-in station concept, and it's the law throughout the assembly process. At the same time, the computer passes information regarding problems back to the body plant so that they can take immediate action to correct the cause of the problem. 
Now, in response to individual customer orders, bodies are released from the holding area and begin their journey through final assembly. Accessories such as clocks and speedometers are electrically checked before installation into the instrument panel. And then the completed instrument panel is again tested for electrical continuity. At the same time, the check makes sure that the accessories ordered for that car, such as air conditioning or radio, are in fact installed and functioning. The same type tests are applied to the steering column and its 10 electrical circuits before installation in the body. All these tests are computer controlled for accuracy and reliability. It's a way of life and the road to reliability. It's the same story with frames. comes together. All the right colors and accessories and options. Everything that's been ordered. Final assembly. Throughout the assembly sequence, the build-in station concept is the Bible. For example, brake systems are evacuated, pressure filled and tested as the chassis moves down the line. Same thing with air conditioners. If any discrepancies pop up, they are corrected immediately. No waiting until the car passes through final inspection. No waiting for problems to accumulate. If necessary, the line stops. You build cars right the first time. This is the road to reliability. At the end of the assembly line, another major inspection operation. Any car with problems is shuttled aside and repaired, and the information goes into the computer. Where does all this information from these inspection stations go? It goes to plant management, and it goes right out along the assembly lines. A foreman can see exactly what his performance is, what his problems are, on an hourly basis, or at any time he elects to ask the computer for information. It's an excellent tool for working with people, solving problem areas, and identifying outstanding performance. 100% test of all electrical systems and lights for proper operation. Squeak and rattle check on a road simulator for all cars, not subject to weather conditions, replaces an outside track. A toe-in adjustment for the front wheels. The car locked in position until the setting is right and the inspection ticket punched OK. Only then is the car released. Assembly operations and final inspections completed, the car heads for the shipping building a quarter mile away.
transported by individual carriers, it eliminates handling or driver-caused paint nicks and scratches. Shipping inspection and a recheck of major systems for functional operation. One of the last steps on the road to reliability. For example, headlight aiming. Here again, the car is locked into place and not released until spot beams are set correctly on photocell targets. And then, brake tests for every car to see that the brakes are functional, stop the car straight. Final inspection completed, car okay. But the road to reliability doesn't stop here. Each morning, early, a management team selects five cars and goes over them with a fine-tooth comb, looking mainly for areas where the build-in station concept might be reinforced. Further, on invitation, Pontiac dealers from the surrounding areas visit the plant with their new car get-ready supervisors, select cars of their choice, and perform their own audits, functional, appearance, and ride. It's a program that's in line with customer feelings, as voiced to their dealers. Built right. Inspected to make certain they are right. The cars go to dealers as fast as possible, because customers are waiting for their cars. All the effort, styling, engineering, production, inspection, shipping, aimed at just one thing, a quality, reliable product that will satisfy an owner. When it comes to reliability, Pontiac pours it on.